Egyptian civilization, architecture, religion, government and contributions. The architects and engineers of ancient Egypt showed the ingenuity in the building of the massive pyramids and temples. The Egyptians were the first to use stone in architecture. Imhotep, the architect of the Step Pyramid, was also a renowned physician. While the artists covered the tomb walls with superb paintings, the sculptors carved large stone statues of kings and gods called sphinxes. Let us look at the various stone wonders created by the Egyptians. The Temple of Amon-Re at Karnak in Thebes has a hypostyle or hall of columns which has 136 columns arranged in 16 rows. This hall has painted columns and capitals in the form of a lotus or a palm leaf. The largest column is 69 feet high and 33 feet in circumference. Another stone wonder belonging to the ancient Egyptian era is the Great Sphinx at Giza that rises 66 feet and is 189 feet long. For 4,500 years, it has guarded the pyramids at Giza. The statue represents the king and the body of a lion, symbolizing the supreme power of the ruler. Religion had a very important place in Egyptian culture. Like the early people, the Egyptians saw their gods in nature and worshipped deities representing the wind, water, sky, trees and animals. As towns and cities were formed, people began to worship their own local gods in addition to the major deities. For instance, Tao was the creator god of Memphis. The people of Thebes worshipped Amon, the god of the invisible wind. But like all Egyptians, they also acknowledged Re, the sun god. When Thebes became the capital of Egypt, the composite Amon-Re emerged as the universal deity uniting the forces of sun and wind. Many of the gods and goddesses were shown with animal heads. These represented a particular quality and made the deities easier to recognize. Some of such deities are the gods Horus, Thoth, Anubis and Khnum. When it came to the social life in ancient Egypt, it had three social classes, the upper class, the middle class and the lower class. The upper class consisted of the royal family, rich landowners, high-ranking priests, government officials and doctors. The middle class comprised of merchants, manufacturers and craftsmen. The lower class was made up of unskilled laborers, most of whom worked on farms. Prisoners formed a separate class of slaves. The class system was not rigid and a person's status could be improved through marriage or success in job. Now let us take a look at the structure of the government in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt was a kingdom owned by the God-King. The position of the king was inherited. 
private ownership of land was allowed, but the king took a lion's share of its produce as a tax for the royal treasury. Officials called viziers helped the king govern. The viziers acted as mayors, tax collectors and judges. Scribes were important people in Egypt and their training took up to 12 years. They became civil servants, teachers or librarians. For purpose of local government, ancient Egypt was divided into 42 provinces called gnomes. An official called a nomarch governed each province. There was no money system in ancient Egypt. They had a barter system under which workers were paid in grains. They used extra quantities to trade for other items. When it came to achievements, the ancient Egyptians were less inventive than the earlier Sumerians, but they were the product of a happier and more durable civilization. The Egyptian civilization was the first civilization to have a fully organized central government. The Egyptians introduced a flexible form of writing called the hieroglyphs. The Egyptians manufactured the world's first paper and invented ink to go with it. They also invented the water clock to tell the time during the night. The Egyptians made the world's first medical diagnosis. They evolved a system of mathematics to deal with problems such as building, land survey and calculating taxes. The ancient Egyptians could work with fractions and square roots to calculate the area of a circle or the volume of a cylinder. The Egyptians are also responsible for the invention of the sail. They thus began to rely on wind for power. They also developed a distinctive style of art and architecture which serve as reminders of the glory of ancient Egypt. They were also the first to use stone in architecture. The Egyptians introduced the world's first solar calendar of 365 days which was based on the annual flooding of the Nile and was used by the Egyptians to time their agricultural operations. The Egyptians carefully noted the beginning of each annual rise of the Nile waters which was sometime during late July. They found the average period between rises was 365 days. They also noticed that the rise of the Nile waters coincided with the appearance of the star Sirius in the eastern sky after being invisible for months. They used this event, the appearance of Sirius, to fix their calendar. They divided the 365-day period into four-month seasons of 120 days each, plus five days. The benevolence of the Nile, the protective boundaries of Egypt and the powerful religious beliefs gave birth to a civilization that arose 5,000 years ago in Egypt and flourished for more than 2,000 years, making it one of the longest-lasting civilizations in history.